welcome back to chemistry made easy with bright edu in today's video lesson i'll be teaching on the ph and poh of strong acids and bases before we get into this video if you have not yet subscribed please do well to subscribe and also hit the bell notification icon so whenever a new video is being posted you get notified now let's quickly move over to the topic for today now the topic says ph and poh of strong acids and bases now the question you ask yourself what is a strong acid and a base a strong acid or a base basically they are substance that dissociate almost completely in water now there are equations used to solve the pH and pOH of strong acids and bases. Now, what are they? Now, to calculate the pH of a strong acid, it is pH is equal to the negative log reading to the base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration of hydrogen ion concentration now to calculate the poh it is basically negative log reading to the base 10 of hydroxide ion concentration now addition of ph and poh gives us a value which is 40 Lastly, multiplication of the hydrogen ion concentration times the hydroxide ion concentration is equal to 1 times 10 raised to the power of negative 40. Now, in chemistry, the symbol bracket simply means concentration okay now if it is written as this if we just write h plus it is called hydrogen ion if the word with or the symbol h plus the symbol h plus simply means hydrogen ion but if it is h plus in a bracket i said this bracket simply means concentration so it is basically hydrogen ion concentration same applies to the hydroxide ion which is the oh minus this is called hydroxide ion but if it's in a bracket it is called hydroxide ion concentration now H3O plus sometimes can be used in place of the hydrogen ion. And H3O plus is called hydronium ion. This is called hydronium ion. Hydronium ion or oxonium ion. Hydronium ion or oxonium ion. It is not called hydrozonium ion. It is called hydronium ion or what? The oxonium ion. So sometimes they'll give us the hydronium ion. They'll say calculate pH. So take note, hydronium ion, which is H3O plus, sometimes in calculation purpose is used in place of the hydrogen ion. You know, this is formed by reacting hydrogen ion with water. Okay, you get the hydronium ion like this is hydrogen ion, which is H+. Plus. Reacting it with water, we get H3O+. Plus. Okay, this is called the hydronium ion, also called the oxonium ion. So, with these four equations, we can solve problems on pH and pOH of strong acids and bases. Now, it should be noted that acids, acids talks about pH. 
Acid talks about pig. Basis talks about pig or egg. Now, let's quickly move over to the questions. Now, these are the questions we'll be solving to explain this aspect. Now, before we solve this question, it should be noted that H plus basically is concentration. Anything that should be inside the bracket, anything that should be inside the bracket should be in the form of concentration. Anything that should be inside the bracket should be in the form of concentration. Now, what is the SI unit for concentration? What is the SI unit for concentration? Basically, it is moles per dm cube. Though we have other forms of concentration like molality and normality. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about molarity. So, basically, concentration, it is moles per dm cube, or you say molar. Molar with the symbol capital letter word M. More per dm cube or molar with the symbol capital letter M. So if it's written in the form of more per dm cube, same as molar. Now let's quickly move over to the first question. The first question says, determine the pH of the following. Okay, the question says, determine the pH of the following. So A, a solution of HCl with H plus of this value, which is 2.0 times 10, raised to the power of negative 5 molar, which is basically more per dm cube, and that will be the concentration. And that value should be inside the bracket. Now, what is the formula to calculate pH? Recall, I said pH is equal to negative logarithm to the base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration. So we simply bring that into our uh, per, uh, formula. So pH will be equal to negative logarithm into the base 10 of H plus. And the H plus in this question is 2.0 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5. So pH becomes negative logarithm into 2.0 times 10 raised to the power of negative 5 molar, which is the concentration. So basically, pH becomes 4.699. Okay, so this will be the pH of solution A, which is this. Now, let's quickly move over to the second question, which is B. B says, determine the pH of, of a solution of H2SO4 with H plus of this. Recall, the H plus should be inside the bracket. So, basically, it becomes pH will now be equal to negative logarithm into the base 10, to the base 10 of hydrogen ion concentration. So, pH will now be equal to negative logarithm into um, this value, which is 3.0 times 10 raised power of negative 8 molar. So basically, when we press our calculator for this, we get a value of 7.523. 7.523. We can see this is a pH. So let's quickly move over to the C. Question C. C. Now, the question says, determine the pH of, of a 0 0.002 molar solution HCl. Now, if you check this question carefully, is the H plus given? No, it is not given. The H plus, which is the hydrogen ion concentration, it is not given. They just gave us the full concentration of the compound. So, how do you determine your H plus? This is a shortcut formula. To get the H plus, we simply say H plus will not be equal to concentration, concentration times basicity. Concentration times basicity. Now, the question you ask yourself, what is basicity? Basicity of an acid is the number of replaceable hydrogen ion in one molecule of an acid. What is the basicity of HCl? It is monobasic because it has one H plus. This is HCl. HCl. Dissociating HCl, we get H plus plus Cl minus. 
you can see basically it is balanced so it is one mold of the eight plus so the basicity of this guy will be mono basic mono basic and mono basic means it is one so how do you get the h plus you simply write the formula here H plus now because of the concentration of the full compound, which is 0 0.002 molar times 1. So basically, we have 0 0.002, okay, as the H plus value, as the H plus value. So basically, we'll bring it into the formula to get the pH. So to get your pH is simply pH will now be equal to negative logarithm into H plus. And the H plus is already this value, okay? So what will be the pH? It will now be negative log reading into the H plus, which is 0 0.002, okay? So when we hit our calculator, we get a value to be, the pH to be 2.7, okay? The pH becomes 2.7. Now let's quickly move over to the last question for the day. The last question says determine the pH of a, of a 0.025 molar solution H2SO4. So basically, to solve this question, it is very easy. To solve this question is very easy. You just need to be very, very, very alert. Now, first of all, this is the full concentration of the compound. How do you now get the H plus? Recall the formula I gave. To get your H plus, you simply say H plus will not be equal to concentration, it does not be equal to concentration times basicity. Recall, basicity is the number of replaceable hydrogen ion in one molecule of an acid. Now, basically, we'll bring the acid down, which is H2SO4, H2SO4. This is the acid. Now, this acid, dissociating it, we get 2H plus plus SO4, 2 minus, which is a sulfate radical, and this is the hydrogen ion. Now, in this context, the reaction is balanced, and we have we had two moles of the H plus. So this is the basicity. So we say this compound is di basic equal to 2. So to get the H plus, we simply impute it into the formula. So H plus will not be equal to the concentration of the full compound, which is 0 0.0025 times the basicity, which is 2. So what will be the H plus? The H plus becomes 0 0.005, okay, as the H plus. So we impute it into the formula to get the pH. Become minus log into H plus, which is already this. So pH will not be equal to negative log regime into the hydrogen ion, which is 0 0.005. So when we hit our calculator, we get the value to be 2.301 as the pH. So basically, you can see how to solve the pH and pH of acids.